I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video on upper and lower bound of trigonometric functions as requested by one of the subscriber. I will take a very simple examples to understand the concept. In this particular video, we will see the height reached by a ladder. Let me give you a diagram first. Let's say that's the ground and uh, we have a wall on the right hand side and let us say we have a ladder which is about seven meters right so we have a ladder which is about seven meters so let me write down this dimension as uh, 7.0 meters right so that's the length of the ladder and let's say it makes an angle of uh, let's say 60 let's say 62 degrees okay so we have a ladder which is 7.0 meters long and it makes an angle of 62 degrees with the ground so that's the ground right so that's the ground we need to find what is the upper bound and the lower bound of this height that is the question right so we need to find upper bound and the lower bound of the height now let us see what is given to us so in this particular case we are given two things so first thing which we are given is the length of the ladder so we say ladder of length 7.0 meters right now when i say 7.0 meters it means what it means that we have done the measurements to one decimal place right so that means we are measuring to one decimal place right so so we at times we may not even write it it is understood right now the second thing is about the angle so it is leaning at an angle of 62 degrees right so 62 degrees means we are talking about a whole number right so So that means we measured this to a whole number. What do we need to find? We need to find upper bound. We need to find upper bound and lower bound of height. Right. Just to find the difference, what we will do is we'll round our answers to one decimal place. Just to one decimal place. Okay. We'll do that. So this is the question which we are going to solve. Now when we have to solve these questions, especially in trigonometry, what you should see is that if the angle increases, then the height increases. Is that okay? If angle decreases, the height decreases in this particular case. Okay. Now, talking about trigonometry, what do we have here? We have a right triangle, if you can see. We'll assume this wall to be perpendicular to the ground right so this is 90 degrees angle now in this particular triangle we know that sine theta so we can write down the relation how these things are related so we know sine theta which is sine of 62 degrees is equal to opposite side which is height divided by hypotenuse which is 7.0 is it okay so from here you can write down that height is equals to 7.0 times sine of 62 degrees right this is for the values given now sine function is a function which kind of increases as the angle increases so let me just kind of give you a sketch here for the sine function right so uh, this is just for reference so sine function will be like this, it's a sine wave, right? So the angles which we are talking about here is from zero to that is the 90 degrees. And as you can see, if the angle, if we say angle is theta or x in this direction and sine theta, the value, it could be maximum one, right? And minimum of minus one. So you can see here, if angle increases, the value of sine theta increases. This is important concept to understand, okay? Now, to find the lower bound 
and the upper bound, we basically are trying to figure out what is the maximum and what is the minimum or what is the range of height. This is what we are interested in finding. Correct? Now, so we can write this formula here. We know that the height is equals to the hypotenuse, which is length of the lander, times sine of the angle. Let's call that angle to be theta for the time being, right? So how to find this? So I will suggest make kind of a table. So in this table, there are two variables with us. One is the length of the ladder. So let me write down length of the ladder as L and the angle as, as theta. Okay, so this is the angle. Now the length, what is the lower bound for the length? And what is the upper bound for the length? That is what we need to figure out. Correct? Okay? Lower bound is, means the minimum length, upper bound means the maximum length for the ladder when we are given length of the ladder to one decimal place. Right. So we are given length is 7.0 meters. Now how to find lower bound and upper bound for actually I should have written length. Uh, let me just uh, remove this from here. And what I will do here is I'll draw this line here, extend it, and I should have written length in a separate row, right? So length. So we'll find lower bound and upper bound of length and the angle. Good. So let's start with angle now. So angle is given to us as 62 degrees. It's a whole number. So whenever you want to find the upper bound and the lower bound, the best way to do is if it is a whole number, whole number is one, right? So whole number means one unit. It means one. Now half of that is how much? So you do half of this. So this is equals to 0 0.5. Do you see that? So the upper bound and the lower bound are plus minus 0 0.5. Do you get the point, right? So, so the value which we do here is plus and minus 0 0.5. Treat it as a tolerance, right? So measurement of this angle, we have a tolerance of 0.5. That is round to whole number, 62 degrees, correct? So for the angle, if I add 0.5, I get a bigger number. So it becomes the upper bound, which will be 62.5 degrees. But if I take away 0.5, it will be lower than 62. And if you take away 0 0.5, it will be 61.5 degrees, right? So that is the lower bound and upper bound for the angle. Now at this time, some students can always say uh, that, I mean, 62.5 really rounds to 63 degrees, not 62 degrees, correct? So, so remember one part, which is we could write this as 62.4999 or record, do you understand? So where the nine repeats. Now for our calculations, that 62.49999 recording could be treated as 62.5. So strictly speaking, we are kind of approaching this value. Is it okay? And we are going as far on the right side as far we are going on the left side and that's the real meaning of lower bound and upper bound. So you go same distance away from the average. So this value given to you is the average value always. Treat that. Treat it like that. It will be uh, simpler for you to understand. If you're treating as a rounding, you might get confused at this point because 62.5 rounds to 63, not 62, correct? Okay. Now the idea is 62.499 recurring is very, very close to 62.5. And what we will also do is, since we are saying lower bound and upper bound of the height to one decimal place, so that accuracy will be good enough for us, right? So that's the whole idea. Now let's look into the ladder length of 7.0 meters. 
we want one decimal place. What is one decimal place? Now when we say one decimal place, that means one decimal place means one tenth or 0 0.1. You understand that is one decimal place. So to get the plus minus value half on either side, what do we do? We divide, divide this by 2, right? So we'll divide this point 1 by 2 and if you do that, you get 0 0.5. Do you see that? So that is the value to be added and subtracted. So therefore, for 7, we will add and subtract 0 0.05, okay? So one value will be more than 7.1, the other one will be less than 7.1 and it will be 0 0.05 less. Do you see that? So let's write down. So if you add 0 0.05, you get 7.05. Is that okay? And if you subtract 0 0.05, then you get 6.95. Right. So that becomes the lower bound for the length of the ladder. Okay. So from here, you get the lower bound and the upper bound values for both length and the angle. Now. What is the upper bound of the height? So let's now find upper bound of the height. So let me calculate both and the lower bound of the height. So, so let's say lower bound of height h. So if I have to do lower bound of the height, I should take lower value of the length, which is 6.95. And also lower angle, since sine actually for lower value is lower, higher it is higher. This is from 0 to 90 degrees, right? Okay, so it will be sine of 61.5 degrees. So that will give you the lower bound. As far as the upper bound of height is concerned, that should be higher value of length, which is 7.05 times sine of 62.5 degrees, correct? So at this stage, we can actually use our calculator to calculate the value. We'll round our answers to one decimal place, right? The angle is in degrees. So the lower bound is 6.95 times sine of 61.5, right? And that is equal to 6.107. So this is approximately equal to 6.107 we are writing to one decimal place so we'll just write 6.1 is it okay now for the upper bound let me calculate that also which is 7.05 you could do times it doesn't matter even if you write it straight 62.5 that is sine of 62.5 is equals to it is 6.253 right so 6. Point, you could round this to 3. 6.253. So you could round this to 6.3. So that will become the upper and lower bound of the height if rounded to one decimal place. Correct? And since this length is in meters, the units will be in meters. It is important to write down the units. Is that okay? So you see how we can calculate the lower bound and the upper bound using trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios in our examples. So we'll take up another example with cosine where the curve is kind of decreasing. So we'll have to take additional care when working with cosine theta, especially when the angles are between 0 to 90 degrees. I hope you understand the basic concept here. So we were given length of the ladder to one decimal place we found slower and the higher limits which was 61 i mean which was 6.95 and 7.05 for the angle which is rounded to whole number we have to add and subtract 0 0.5 to get the lower bound and the upper bound and to find the height height is related with the angle and the length of the hypotenuse of this right triangle with the relation that height is equal to length times sine of the angle. So if you use the lower height and lower angle, you get the lower bound of the height. And if you use the upper or upper side of the height and the angle, you get the maximum value of the height for this particular condition. 
Amadil Kumar and I hope this helps. Thank you and all the best.